Hello everyone, my name is Kenok, and today I'm making a quick tutorial based on a request I got on one of my videos about making retrofied samples. Now, normally I would just create a, a tutorial on how to make Super Nintendo samples, like very accurate ones, but that's not what I'm going to do. They asked for something that is just simple, but that sounds retro, so we can go from there. It's basically the same principle. Just a little modified because here you don't have to worry about sample length in certain, uh, you know, certain sizes like divisible by whatever. Here you can just do whatever and just make it sound retro. So it's not going to be difficult and then you'll get to see the end result. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I already have my string sample opened up. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's probably from a VST knowing me. So what we're going to do is first, I'm going to trim it a little bit. So we're going to do that. Now I am using Reaper. You can use whatever DAW that you personally like or that you currently use for your workflow. It can be anything that works for you, anything that at least works with audio in a meaningful way. Now before we actually finish with the sample, we're going to have to test it out, you know, see how well it works. Uh, like for what, like how, however long you want it to be. So we'll go and we'll, we'll see how that works, uh, how it works out for us. So let's go ahead and take, give a quick listen to the sample and see if we like the length and if not, we'll adjust it. That's still a little too long for me. So let's go ahead and trim it down to less than a second. I can actually see the time right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a listen. That's better. So now we've trimmed it down. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I have snapping disabled. But we're going to re-enable it real quick. Select all the way up to here. Disable the snap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it about right here and then i want to do what i'm going to do is here in, in reaper what you can do is you can actually split so we're going to do split at time selection we're going to bring this back over here we're going to select just a little bit and then we're going to Copy selected area of items. So it's just going to, oh, it, oops, I accidentally put cut. Sorry. We're going to copy selected area of items. We're going to create a new track. We're going to go ahead and paste it. We're going to re-enable snap. So this way I can snap it to the end of here. If it'll let me. I need to change how the snap works here. Give me one second. There we go. Okay, so now this is done. We have the two samples. Now I'm going to have it auto crossfade. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select this side and we're going to give a go ahead and give it a quick listen. Perfect. That's all there is to it. Now, of course, when it comes to uh, Reaper, it has the auto crossfade um, feature, which is really nice. But your DAW may not have the same thing. So what you can do is that you can actually just... <laughs> it's better to just show you than just explaining it. So let's go ahead and undo all of this. Now I'm going to snap right here. I'm going to select this. Oh. And then I'm going to split again at the cursor. And I'm going to have this fade in. Or I'm going to actually have this fade out. Excuse me. We're going to have this fade out. We're going to have this fade in. And then if you listen to it again, 
as soon as I can select the end. There we go. Now, if you listen to it again, it should be the exact same result. And there you go. Now, again, Reaper has its own way of doing features, but you can basically do what I just did. And on the main sample, you can fade out that tiny part uh, that's only the, the exact length of the copied area and then fade in the actual copied audio. So this way you have a really nice crossfade and it's simple. Yeah, that's all, that's all there is to it. So I hope this very quick tutorial was very helpful and I'll see you in the next video. This is Kenok signing off.